What's up, Home Slice? Lucas here. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to get a better looking hairline in only five minutes, but you got to focus. So the first thing you want to do is try to reveal your hairline. For me, that's going to be by pushing back the hair like this, and I can reveal the hairline up here. And you can see we're having some shooting in, okay? This is one of those early stages that happens to a ton of guys out there and isn't that big of a deal. In fact, there's a little quick hack you can do that can make this look significantly less instantly. And I'm going to share that with you right now. So all we got to do to decrease the intensity of this divot right here, this divot in, is actually remove a little bit of hair. You see from the sideburn here and then out, there's actually this hair that comes forward. If we remove a little bit of this hair right here, it can make this divot in appear a lot less intense and it can make your hairline instantly appear better. Now, as always guys, I want you to remember this golden rule. Don't overdo anything. So with the razor in the mirror, all we're gonna do is just remove a little bit of this hair coming out here. Just a little bit. Very easy, guys. Very easy, all right? Like, I'm talking like three, four hairs. <laughs> Great, I have a tan line there, so that's not ideal, but it's still gonna work. Now, just so you guys can see visually, if I did bring this extra hair all the way in so it would reach the peak of that divot, it would look like this. If you're fine with that look, go for it. But like an artist, we just want to do a little bit here, a little bit there, and then overall, it'll all combine together to produce that stronger looking hairline. So with just a little bit of hair removal on that extra hair there, we are then going to move on to the next hack. If your hair is significantly thinning to where you can see your scalp, you know, even without shining direct light into it, what I would recommend based on what I have seen my friends do and what I've seen online in the transformation photos is buying some powdered hair essentially. I know this sounds absolutely ridiculous, but this can really fill in the thinning hair, making your hair appear so much thicker and just creating the illusion of a better hairline. Now there are a few different methods. There's like a spray on sticky method, there's a powder method, and then there's an electrostatic method. At least those are the kinds I've come across. And in my opinion, I would either go with maybe the electrostatic method or what I'm gonna do in this video is the powder version because the powder is going to get down to the scalp and it's going to darken the scalp to the tone of the hair making the contrast of your scalp less visible making your hair appear thicker oh boy what am i doing okay well look at that we can just use it to <laughs> all right all right I swear that actually really works, especially if you get it dropped down to the hair. But some of you guys should know before I moved on, plot twist, I actually used activated charcoal for this, which is not necessarily engineered for powdered hair to stay on there. But I thought I'd just use it for example purposes. So I actually washed that out, but if you did it right, you can see how that could be super effective. Moving on to the next step, we're going to be now styling our hair to create the appearance of a better hairline. Now I'm just using this Moose Air Turbocharged Hair Styling Foam, Medium to Firm Hold by Giovanni. My friends come and judge. So apply some of your favorite hair styling product. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use spots with hair to help cover up those spots without hair. But it actually works, it really does work, especially for these little divots, check this out. So the key is, it's the secret to everything guys, don't overdo it, right? We're just connecting some of this flow up here, some of this hair that I have pushed back, we're flowing it downwards into this divot, past the divot, with the flow of this hair on the side right here going that way, okay? So the hair on the side is pushed on an angle this way, so I'm gonna take some of this hair from the front and I'm gonna push it down to the side, subtly. You don't need to go crazy, you don't need to bring the hairline like all the way up here. Just go subtly with it. Start in the back, bring it up to where it feels and looks natural, and then stop it right there, right? Too much of a good thing, guys, is usually a bad thing. And then from here, guys, we can style the rest of the hair however we want. And if your hair is thinning too far, too gone already, you know what? Don't even worry about it, all right? Either keep it how it is and just own it, or you can shave it all off and be bald because being bald is cool. There are a ton of cool bald guys out there. All right, I can think of like one right now off the top of my head. The deal or no deal guy, yeah. Man, I swear there's more obvious ones, but that's what's coming to my mind right now, all right? 
With that being said, I hope this video helped you all out and stay tuned for an encore video tomorrow. I have coming out how to look five years younger in only five minutes. We're taking some of this information and we're extrapolating on it for an overall fresher, younger look and feel and skin tone in only five minutes. Some good hacks in there, so stay tuned for that. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you all out. Don't forget to subscribe, turn those notifications on. I hope you all have a great day. Peace. I will see you all in the next video.